Hey everybody, welcome back to Women Carry Knives. It has been a while. It's been a crazy year so far, but we are going to keep dropping videos here and there when we have time, and it is good to see you all, even though I can't really see you. Do me a favor before we begin, if you guys could hit that like button, I would greatly appreciate it. It does help out the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button for me because I'd love to have you here all the time. We're going to pay, pick, we're going to take a look at something a little different here. Um, this is thanks to Mr. Napster Ninja. I greatly appreciate the opportunity to take a look at this. And this has been a super fun knife. This is the Spyderco Stovepipe. Um, now these do go for about $600 if you can find one. Uh, it is small. So you all know that I have a small hand and I will make sure that I'm on camera here because I'm way off. Um, three inches across, four inches diagonally. So you can see it definitely is for a small hand. Now, if you have a larger hand, um, I, I think you're going to have a more of a three finger knife, but this thing is absolutely fantastic. What do you get for your 600? Well, you're going to get a 20 CV butcher style blade or cleaver, whichever you want to say. It has got a gorgeous deep hollow grind. Now there is no way you're going to be able to see it. Well, maybe you can. Um, it is hard to see, but this thing has just a wicked hollow grind, super, super thin, unbelievably sharp. And this thing is just a little workhorse. I have been loving having it. Your handles are going to be all titanium as well as your backspacer and your clip. And it is a very strong clip. It's got great retention. Um, almost a little bit hard to get out of the pocket. It does catch on the seam a little bit, but not so hard. I didn't feel like it was tearing up my jeans, which was really nice. But I've really been enjoying, I mean, just playing with it, having it. Now, it is a right-hand carry only. So for my lefties out there, um, there is no lefty love. I'm sorry about that. It is a liner lock, as you can see, and you're at about, I'm going to call it 50% lockup, maybe just a little bit more. Very small, as you can see. Um, and, and chunky. So your width on this, and let's, you know, just go talk about that right now. You're looking at an inch and three, a little over an inch and three quarters. So it's going to be a very wide knife. Um, it fit in my pocket very well. However, I definitely noticed it was there because it is so wide. Um, it is either a thumb roller, if you prefer, which I can't really thumb roll this one that good, but it is also a spidey flicker, which is really nice. The shape of the blade is just, um, I don't even know what I want to call it, but it's, I don't know why this knife is just so fun to me. Um, it's ugly, but sometimes ugly is very cool and that is the case with this one as I said it is cleaver style which is really nice and what I like about it is have it's worked really well in the kitchen it has worked really well um, boxes oh my god this thing just cuts through boxes like a dream um, we had some paracord we had some rope and it has just sliced right through of course um, using these is usually more of a uh, well, first of all, it's not ours, so we don't ever do anything really, you know, crazy with it. But for everything we have used it for, it has been absolutely wonderful. Uh, Cutting-wise, it doesn't feel like it's even made a dent. No, no dulling at all on this one. It's absolutely wonderful. I love that. As far as I said, it's fitting in your hand. It feels really, really good in hand. Now... If you have a larger hand, because of the way the kind of almost finger areas are here, I would imagine it's not going to feel as good for a larger hand. Now, being that it is smaller, even though the clip is very, you know, low set, I did feel it. So it is kind of a hot point, but not really. If, if I, you know, I'm kind of at a loss of words. So I did feel it, but it wasn't something that would that would bother me so much that I wouldn't use it. Um, sometimes I have knives that have the clip that the ramping is a little higher and it's very uncomfortable to me. And it's something that I would not be used, uh, would not be used for any extended length of time. Let's do a couple of comparisons for size. We'll take a look at it next to the Benchmade here. 
our little bug out. So you can see that I I consider this to be more of a medium, a small medium. Um, and even though this is considerably smaller, if you want to put it tip to tip here, um, I, I still consider it a medium size. And it's more so because of the width of the handle, the thickness of it, the size of the blade. I would put it more into a medium size, but that's for me. For those of you with larger hands, you're still going to be in a um, small category. Especially like I know my husband has large hands, so it would be definitely small to him and probably just a three finger knife, okay? Uh, weight wise, now, well, let's go into the blade length. So on your blade length, you're looking at about three inches with just over two and a half uh, inches on a cutting edge. You're closed, and we'll put it this way so we don't rock. You're closed here, as you can see, is going to be a four inches, which is going to give you an overall of about six and three quarters of an inch. So it's a good size. Now, weight-wise, which is interesting, let me reach over here and grab my scale. So a lot of the times when I see a knife before actually taking it out of the pouch or looking at it, you know, you're kind of thinking, oh, it's a small knife. It's not going to be, and being titanium, you think it'd be a little bit lighter. Um, let's turn this on first. I actually thought it was going to be lighter than it is. As you can see, you're at 4.9 ounces. So you're just shy on a, you know, not even seven inch knife. You're just shy of five ounces. So it is a bit, okay, let's go ahead and give you guys 138 grams. So for those of you that do grams, you're looking at 138 grams. As I said, I did carry this one. This one was not to me comfortable in the waistband whatsoever at all. Um, back pocket was okay. It wasn't bad. I definitely noticed it was there because it is uh, bulkier. Uh, this for me was definitely a front pocket carry. And as I said, you know, the clip has just enough retention on it um, that it definitely grabbed the pocket, but it wasn't something that I felt was going to tear up my pocket. So that is definitely a plus to it. Aesthetically, it is absolutely different looking. Um, but at the same time, like I said, it just kind of grows on you. The look of it, the shape of it, the feel of it for me, I still say this is going to be more of a smaller hand. Um, if a therapeutic edge was here, I would actually have him put it in hand to see what he thought, um, but he is not. So I'm hoping that he reviews this one and gives you guys his opinion and that you can see it and see how it looks in his hand because I'm really curious to know what larger hands feel about this one. It's been a blast, you guys. This this thing has been so much fun. I love the cleaver styles, and I, I really love the way that they did this. Now, your blade is obviously going to be wider than your handle, but um, it's well done. The way it is, it's just well done. Ergonomically, it feels fantastic. And I love the fact, I love how it just comes into a, a nice, sharp, you know, that butcher style blade, but it has the nice curve to it, to just a nice, really precise, fine tip, which is just great. All right, you guys, I wanted to share this with you because I absolutely love it. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Again, the Spyderco Stovepipe. Thank you so much, Napster, for allowing me to have it and to review it and to show it to you guys. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it down in the comment section. You know I try to answer each and every one of you. And until next time, have a good one.